The Hanover Parish Church is one of the oldest churches in Jamaica and is the oldest building in the parish of Hanover. Also called the St. Mary's Anglican Church, it is believed to have been built on the site of an old Spanish church. No records have been found to establish the exact date when the Hanover Parish Church was built. According to historical notes, a cornerstone with the date has never been found. However, records from the National Archives show that the first baptism was in 1725, the first burial in 1727, and the first marriage in 1749. As a result, the year of its establishment was set at 1725. Therefore, in 2025, the church will celebrate 300 years of existence. The Hanover Parish Church recently got its first female priest, Reverend Nina Ray Barrett. Reverend Barrett led a tour of the church one beautiful morning in February. I am Nina Ray Barrett, Reverend Nina Ray Barrett, priest in charge of the Lucy Parish Church. Some people will say the Hanover Parish Church. It is a cure. You know, some churches will say circuit, but for Anglicans we call it a cure. So it's the Hanover Lucy Parish Church cure. Um, we are, there are five churches within the cure, but this church is the mother church, St. Mary's, and it is the parish church of Hanover. Right? So, coming into any Anglican church, you will always see the font because the font is usually at the entrance, meaning that you know you enter into the family of God. This is where we baptize babies. Um, can you open? Yes, it can be opened. Just a silver bowl. Um, we fill it with water when it is ready um, for baptism. Okay. I am not sure of the age of this font. Okay. So the Lucy Parish Church is 297 years old to date. Um, 2025 we will celebrate 300 years and hopefully we'll have plans in place to have such a grand celebration to celebrate such a milestone. You know 300 years of witness in a community is a lot and we just have to give God thanks that we are still around and hopefully we will continue for another 300 years. Um, we recently refurbished the church and so you can see that the benches are, you know, recently done in pristine condition. Some of the, I think most of the, all of these benches are original benches. Um, even the partition in the benches, I get to understand are the original uh, partitions. Coming back from the days where you sit on one side and you do a crossover on the other side. You, you know, you maintain your, your space. Um. Right, so this is saying, under this marble is the body of Sir Simon Clark, born in the year, I'm not seeing that. Yeah, it's, uh, well, he died on the second day of November. Oh, 1777, that's the year Rossies was founded. So Simon Clark died in 1777. And usually, um, you know, important um, members of the congregation back in the days, they used to bury them in the church. And even if you look around, you will see different memorial stones, um, plaques on the walls that, you know, signify, you know, who some persons were and their contribution to the church and in the life of the parish at that time. But this is the only grave in the parish church um, 
that is well visible. This is the sanctuary where the altar is and you know it features this nice stained window, the east window. So in the church, wherever the altar is, we call it east, liturgical east. So even if it's not east um, based on geographically, um, in the church where the altar is, is east and the door facing the altar is the west door. But in this case, it's really east west. Well, I think yes, so. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. At that point, yes. And if we look on the top up there, you will see the beautiful mahogany organ. I think it was said to be built in 1891. Okay. It doesn't work at the moment. We had leaking issues, that is why you see the trafalgar oh. over it. But it was fixed in the recent renovation. Oh. However, Members are scared to take it on just in case something should happen. The names Horton and Campbell are popular Hanoverian surnames. And in the churchyard, there are several tombs for members of the Horton and Campbell families dating back to 1734. This is our memorial garden. We do not bury and we can't bury anybody again in the churchyard because of unmarked graves and we don't know where graves are. So we have built a memorial garden to just bury urns, only urns we, we, we do here. I think this, this memorial garden holds up to 120 urns. Um, and the church there are trying now to build another one because we realize that cremation, you know, a lot of persons are want their loved ones to be cremated and you know the church wants to offer that place you know that space where persons can be of you know ease that their loved ones are indeed resting peacefully um, here in this garden. So even these palm trees they are so old that we cannot cut them down because they have now become habitats for rat bats. Um, and
and so you know the environmental agencies we can't really destroy um, these habitats so we just have to wait till these trees die to get rid of the rat bats but um, they, they do serve a purpose um, if you look up the top at the steeple where the cross is it is actually a belfry so there is a bell inside but it is it can't be wrong um, over time you know rust and all of that so we would have to get it fixed like somebody who can fix it to get it back into commission where you could hear it ring. Okay. The old rectory across the road now houses the Hanover Pre and Prep School. That rectory was badly damaged by Hurricane Gilbert in 1988, but was eventually repaired and leased at a peppercorn rate for use as the prep school. A new rectory was subsequently built in 1991. In 1966, the Hanover Parish Church built its church hall on the spot where the first power plant that provided Lucy with electricity was located. A multi-purpose games court was also built on the site. <music> 